Hi, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For this tutorial, we're going to be doing something different. <laughs> so what happened is a customer requested me to knit this uh, cape. And here it is. I bought the pattern and I will give you the link. And I'm going to be knitting, showing you how to knit this lovely cape. And uh, this is on her link, this much. And uh, the sizes are between 12 to 14. The cape that I'm going to be knitting is, um, is a small size. So uh, it says here you need 19 balls of yarn. And don't forget that these 19 balls are about 10 gram. Uh, they're like small balls of yarn. So just to let you know, okay, so this is the link. I will go to the link where I bought it from. She sent me the picture and I found it. And, um, oopsie, huh, here we go. I bought this last Thursday from E-Stitches on Etsy. I searched, she, uh, the customer sent me the picture, so I don't know where she got it from. But um, yeah, when I searched it with the picture, this, this is the only link that comes up. And I messaged her if I can do a tutorial on how to knit, knit this uh, cape or capelet, it says. 1950s Angora uh, formal wrap shoulder cape or capelet knit pattern. PDF 8518. Okay, I haven't given her the review yet because I want to send her a picture with the finished finished look. <laughs> so um, if you go into her link, I will put the link below. E stitches on Etsy. Okay, and she has perfect reviews. I checked and uh, I messaged her if, if she if I can get a permission to do the tutorial, and she said yes. Go ahead. And I forgot her name. I am not good with names. Okay, let me check. Yep, I have two open orders at the moment. And um, plus I get orders from PayPal. I uh, refer them my pay, I send them a PayPal invoice. I'm not counting those on Etsy. It's uh, yeah, it says here, I would love to see your project as, as long as you go along. Okay, and it's e-stitches. She also has a Facebook. I will put that link as well. And her name is Kristen. She messaged me that today is uh, August 23rd. And uh, yeah, it took me a while. I had to open orders, so I finished those. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm not going to give you the st st how many stitches. You need to go and buy the pattern from her. And I, it's not that expensive I think it's 250 US dollars and Canadian it's like five dollars I paid I believe well it's not here now she has all different kinds of patterns here you can go they're all this is a nice one yeah like um I hope I can here's a nice one short the ones that, that I knit are top down, but this is a classic. Like these uh, uh, bridal shrugs that I'm knitting, they're not new. Like they've been around for a long time, like 1950s. I just wanted to point that out. Like people are saying they're new, but they're not. They've been here for a long time before we were. <laughs> here is it. Here it is. Okay. If you go, it's five dollars and four cents Canadian. For the pattern and uh, for American let me just give you that info I use two uh, I use Safari and Chrome okay and here is an American it is three dollars and seventy five cents so you're, you, if you want to go ahead and buy the pattern you are welcome to buy the pattern here and while I'm pointing out patterns 
I don't sell patterns. I don't write patterns. So please stop messaging me about patterns. I don't have the time to sit and write a pattern. Like when I do this tutorial, I will forget about this, I don't know, a week later on because I keep on working on different projects. I do design myself. And like I said, I don't write patterns. So I'm getting so many comments. Can you please send me a pattern? I don't have a pattern, but this you can go and purchase it and you can start with me. So let's get started and I will show you the yarn set that I will be working with. Okay, so here is the yarn that I ordered. I haven't knit with this yarn yet. This is something new to me. It's 100% Angkor Rabbit yarn and it came boxes like this. I paid a fortune for this yarn and uh, this is, and it's called Annie Black Blade. It's 100%, looks wonderful. So I don't know how it's gonna turn out. It's 100% uh, Angkor Rabbit yarn. Let me just get it closer look. And I bought the, sorry about that, I bought the 70% as well just to see okay I had to order it like I can't go and order it through uh, sort I this huh. it's made in France so this came from France but I it like it was a ship from France it's fr it was shipped from the states so this lady, Sandy, I believe her name, um, I ordered it through her and I paid a lot, almost to $100 custom fees. Believe it or not, it's very expensive here in Canada. And uh, yeah, and I can, if you want the information, I can uh, message you the information if you want this yarn. Uh, it's getting very hard and hard to find Angora Rabbit yarn lately, and um, and it's getting very expensive. So this is about 25 gram. So those tiny balls that are 100 gr uh, uh, 10 gram, this has like two and a half, like two and a half in it. So saves up, and this is ivory color. The customer wanted ivory. My most seller selling items are ivory. Okay, so let's get started. Grab your yarn, grab the pattern, and uh, cast on so many stitches that it says on the pattern. Just check which size you are going to knit one for yourself or your loved one. And, uh, and I'll be back to start you how to knit this lovely capelet. Before I start, I just wanted to point out that this yarn and the pattern yarn that it's suggesting, uh, this yarn is way thinner, like it's lace yarn. The on the pattern that it says, sorry about this, opening one of my bags here. Okay, I have this yarn, this is 100% Angora Rabbit yarn. and. Uh, as you can see, this is 100%. So uh, in the pattern, it's referring to this yarn. It's about 10 gram. Let me just open one of these. Oh, this is black. Okay, this is um, this is one. This is the one yarn that I usually use. But I wanted to try this and black yarn. Unfortunately, I just noticed that this is way thinner. Then the pattern itself, what it suggests, what's uh, it, like uh, in the pattern, it's uh, recommending the worsted yarn, comparing to these yarn that the pattern is uh, referring to. But we can double, like we can knit it with double strands, and that will fix the problem. But I just want to point you out that when it says 19 balls, it means these small balls of uh, 19 balls of this yarn that I have still in my hands. Okay, I have lit little bits and pieces left uh, from my leftover 
but I'm gonna make a I'm gonna use these yarns. They're pretty good quality and they're 100 percent on Gore Rabbit yarn. It's, uh, I will still use these yarns, but I just wanted to point out that this is worsted yarn. The pattern is recommending. The yarn that I'm using is not worsted at all. Yeah, I just noticed it. It looks like in the pictures, but it's not. So when you knit it up, it's going to be pretty thin. So I'm going to double strand this when I'm knitting. Just wanted to point out if you want to go and buy the be the Belanger. Star sells these in New York, I believe. And uh, there are other people that sells. I think they buy it from her and they sell it. But um, yeah, this is the first time I ordered this yarn, but I don't know, like it's pretty thin. So let's see how it's going to work out. That's the main focus on the, the fluffiness the brides wants. So I just wanted to point out, so I'll be using double strand of this yarn. And let's go back to starting this capelet. Okay, so I am casting on so many stitches. I just wanted to point out that it's going to be starting from the edge here. And then we're going to knit up and we're going to be knitting uh, using different methods like short row methods. And uh, I would like, if you get confused, I do have tutorials on how to knit them. But I will go over it as we do this uh, capelet. So, yeah, you need to cast on so many um, stitches. So I'm using a different method. Instead of doing the long tail, I'm just going to put my camera on my thing and I'll be back. Okay, I do have a tutorial on how to cast on this method. So instead of waste, because this yarn is expensive. <laughs> I just want to point that out so I don't want to waste even a tiny little uh, yarn on this uh, uh, this uh, knitting uh, capelet that we're going to be knitting. <laughs> so what I did is I did a knot here and what I'm doing is I'm just going like this. I do have a tutorial and I will put that link below on how with bigger needles and thicker yarn. So try to, uh, yeah, let me just, this is uh, pretty, pretty. I don't know what happened here. Okay, I'll just unravel this one and start all over. So what I do is I go between, between remember I'm using two strands of this yarn so don't get confused so here it is it's this stitch that I'm gonna go between so just like this and I am going to do a just like a just like a knit stitch just knit it just like this I'm using a crochet hook because it's way easier and I'm gonna pull it and I'm gonna put it twist it like this and put it back here so I made one stitch I'm gonna make another one don't forget the two strands of yarn if you're not used to knitting with two strands and this is how I do the ink uh, the cast on so instead of doing the long tail cast on I'm doing it this way and I'm not wasting a bit of this uh, expensive yarn <laughs> Okay, so uh, cast on as uh, many stitches it says on in the pattern. Okay, and I'll be back to show you how to knit the first row. Okay, so I've been knitting for days. <laughs> yes, it's been for days. And um, I've been doing short rows to give length. This is the back of the cape lit so when I measure it it's about eight inches long so the total should be 17 inches so I have to knit about uh, uh, nine more I guess nine more inches yeah and then we're going to be just trying to figure it here 
so 17, yeah, about nine more inches more. And it does curl up because it's a knit and um, stockinette, I believe. And it's curling up so it needs to be blocked. So I did a bunch of uh, going through the pattern. I've been doing uh, short rows and now I've been knitting a couple of rows increasing from the edges here. It's pretty long. Yeah, it is pretty long when you measure it. Yeah, it's like 50 inches long. 50 inches long. So lots of stitches on your needle. And I am using my fourth ball, fourth ball of this yarn. So I'm going to put the fifth one. So, and I'm doubling this just to know. And if you're asking me what color this yarn, it's ivory. And uh, it's called Natural 380. And if you want this yarn, if you want to purchase it, message me. Either you can email me or put it uh, in the comments and I will put the link to buy it from Sandy. I think she was in Texas. I always get confused because I order so much, so many yarns from all over the world. Okay, so um, I'm just following the pattern and I just wanted to follow up with you guys. So uh, I can't tell you how you should do this, you should do that because you need to purchase the pattern from Christian, Kristen from her Etsy shop to do this uh, but it's very nice and I am planning to do after I finish it I'm planning to do my own but I don't think get lots of uh, like this is the first time ever I got a Capelin order since 2009 so I don't get orders like this this is a custom order okay so I just need to knit and this is the edge so like I said, most of the short rows are in the middle, so we haven't knit much on the edge. I just started from here, and I knitted so many rows, and I increased so many rows, and I'm increasing. And this is going to be curling. Oh, yeah, I don't like the curling. See, as you can see, if I knitted myself, I would just do a rib stitch just to stop this curling. Even when I block it, it's going to curl. Well, she wanted the original pattern, so customers are right, right? <laughs> so I'm just following the pattern, and I'm going to do a buttonhole, and I'm going to knit a button. Well, I'm going to knit the fabric, and then put the button, and then sew it up, and then just like this. And I'll show you how to do that, because there's no pattern. It just tells you to do doesn't tell you how to do it, but I know how to do it, and I will show you how to do uh the button how to knit a button and then yeah it's asking me to bind off like five stitches I'm not supposed to tell you that but yeah five stitches so I need to figure out what how big the buttons should be to fit in it and then I will knit the button and sew it up later but yeah so a couple of rows later we're gonna do the buttonhole so I'm assuming this is going to be curling up like it's going like this. This is what I'm trying to say. So this is going to be the front. Like it's going to be like this, right? When you wear the cape. I never count stitches. It tells you to count. But when I did count a couple of times, but I am at the right track. So it's going to be like this. So when she wears it. And the button is going to be like this, just to give you an idea. Just to let you know, this yarn is pretty good. It's pretty fluffy. Hello, halo. It's it's very very nice. I love the texture of it. And uh, and yeah, you get married once in your life, right? Why not get the best that will look great on you. <laughs> Okay, so I just wanted to show you. I'm going to knit a couple of rows more and I will come back to show you. Uh, on the back, I think we're going to do more short rows on the back to give that length. And uh, yeah, this pattern doesn't tell you how to do short rows. It tells you just to do it. So you need to know how to do short rows. And I do have tutorials on how to do short rows. 
like knitting socks, knitting my uh, shrug Angora Caitlin Caitlin Middleton Kate Middleton uh, shrug that I have. You can go into my videos and find them out. Like I can't put every link on the tutorial below, but uh, yeah, I have everything there. And uh, yeah, you need to know how to knit short rows and you do increases in the middle while you're knitting. You do decreases in the middle. It's it's really f different. Like I have never knit something like this before. And uh, like this is the 50s pattern, so it doesn't give you much information. It's just only like one page tells you what to do and no explanation, no nothing. So yeah, and um, this is how you go. And I will come back when I knit a couple of more rows to show you how it's going on. And uh, But I love this yarn. It's just perfect. Just get to give you a sh closer look. And I just love, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, from Annie Blate. These are from France. And just to let you know, this is lace yarn. It's not worsted like the uh, the Blangor. I can't pronounce the name of the other yarn that I usually use. And I usually buy them in cones. I hate doing attaching. Attaching like, right? I try to felt them. But sometimes you just make you just need to make a knot. Okay, so I'll be back to show you how it goes on. Okay, so I've been knitting like crazy and it's just over 12 inches long and I have done the buttonhole. I was going to show you how to do it. It was very, it was after 12 and it was pretty late so I just went ahead and I just knit about two rows after. So what I did is I, so after uh, knitting so many stitches I bind up so many stitches and I came back and I added, I just cast on so many stitches that I have uh, bind off so you just need to follow up with the pattern and go on so I have knit up now I'm going to be doing the short row to continue to shape the sorry about that my memory card kept kept on throwing me out <laughs> it was full okay so I'm back uh, what I was trying to say is now I am doing the short rows to create the neckline area so we're going to be having the neckline area short row back and forth. And if you follow the pattern, I'm sure you will be up to here. Okay, so I'll come back after doing the short row and I'll follow my pattern and I'll come back to show you how it looks like. Ta-da! Here we are. It's finished. Well, I just need to knit a couple of more rows and I'm not going to go over it with you guys because you already know how to pick up stitches. So what I'm doing is, because we want to get rid of these curls, right? That's making the curls. So I, I knit it here. So I'm picking up stitches and I'm going to be knitting. Uh, due to the pattern, it says, yeah, just follow the pattern and uh, go on with it. And uh, this is how it looks like. And this is the back of the shrug. See, because of the short rows, this, this area is way longer than the fronts. So, and uh, there is lots of short rows starting here, actually starting here. And then there's increases, decreases between <laughs> And you keep on knitting and knitting and knitting. And uh, I am going to plan to make my own uh, capelet because um, I notice I, I can't follow up with it because it's a pattern, right? I just follow up the, with the pattern, but uh, I like knitting top downs. This way I can control the length and the width and everything. Yeah, I've been used to been knitting top downs for, I don't know, years and years. So uh, by picking up the stitches we're going to get rid of these curls. So this is how you knit the capelet. The yarn is gorgeous. I would highly recommend if you're looking for Ungo Rabbit yarn. 
I found this yarn and uh, it's really hard to find Angora Rabbit. For the button, you need a button like this. It, on the pattern, I think it needs, says a steel button, but I'm not going to go out and pay five bucks, ten bucks for a button. So I have this in my stash, so I'm just going to use it and I will make a tutorial on how to knit a button because uh, I'm already over my limit for this uh, video. It's getting longer and longer, so I will put the link below and how to knit the button and uh, yeah, because this is going to be covered. You don't have to worry about the front. It can be anything. But the main thing is when you knit the fabric, let me show it close. When you knit the fabric, we're going to be covering this and sewing it here. And then with the button here, we need this part to sew it to the fabric, right? So you need a button like this. If you have it in your stash, like me, I have hundreds of buttons. I'm sure you will have a button like this. And uh, yeah, so I hope you liked this uh, short tutorial. It was just to give you an idea on how to knit following by the pattern. Like I said, I can't give you the details of uh, like the numbers and stuff, but um, the mannequin is a medium size. Just to let you know, most of the mannequins are medium size. And uh, the bride who's going to get married on October, she's a small size. So hopefully it will uh, fit her because the pattern is pretty... Yeah, and I use smaller needles. Yeah, just to let you know because uh, when you look at the label on the yarn, uh, it says to use... Uh, yeah, I hate this focus. It doesn't focus itself. I have to focus... Sorry about that. So it says to use a three or a three and a half millimeter a crochet hook, but unfortunately, because it was lace, I had to double it. So I'm using four. So I didn't double anything. So my uh, needle's size is a four millimeter. So it's not a. It's 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 compared to double doubling it. It should be bigger, but I didn't use it because I wanted to have the store bought look with this lovely texture to give it it and the fibers to show off <laughs> the angora rabbit <laughs> that that makes it uh, famous so um just wanted to point out that so because of using smaller needles it shrinked a bit the gauge i controlled the gauge so i didn't want it bigger like this is i think up to a large size the pattern so i used a small needle so it shrinked compared to what it says and yeah so I just played around with this pattern as well and I might have added my own touch like I'm going to be picking up so it's going to be my touch at the end so I don't like the curls as you can see on the bottom and on the top it's going to create that curl look so with the tiny needles I'm going to be knitting a rib one knit one pearl for a couple of rows to finish the uh, texture and as you can see on the original picture you cannot see what's what it's knit with because it's black and white and uh, it's only one picture but uh yeah if you want to follow the pattern you are welcome to i will put the link below and i would highly recommend it it's the 1950s capelet for brides for anyone who wants to knit this for themselves for their loved ones uh, i hope you like this tutorial again if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe share it with your family and friends and happy knitting <laughs>